How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Crypto Clout, and happy Father's Day. It is June 16th, 2019, and it is a lovely afternoon. We're going to be talking about Cardano, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode because we've got some pretty interesting stuff to talk about. First, uh, this is pretty interesting. Uh, this bull market is going to be incredible, and I hope uh, hope this individual is right. Uh, so Anthony, uh, you know, Pomp for short, a co-founder and partner at Morgan Creek Digital, also known for his price forecast, uh, especially on the most valuable cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, took to Twitter recently to voice his opinion about the present state of the cryptocurrency market, emphasizing on how remarkable the Bitcoin market has seen a turnaround in the past six months, alerts the community, noti- notifying everybody that the present bull market will be incredible. So definitely interesting to see just how we've seen the crypto space evolving and reshaping and configuring to fit the newest uh, shifts in the paradigm that we're seeing. And uh, just at the same time, it's you know interesting to see uh, you know Amazon and Ether. This is also an article that I feel is interesting to start off the video with. Uh, you know, this is uh, sort of just those uh, various different inchings towards mass adoption. I mean, every single day we basically cross another threshold on one front or another. And uh, once we, you know, once Pandora is out of the box, you, you can't, she doesn't go back in. Um, now, as of late, the idea of using crypto to pay for goods and services is gaining lots of traction in the monetary arena. Recently, we've discussed uh, enterprise like Flexa, which are partnering up with uh, several retailers and in, including a uh, Jamba Juice, uh, you know, of course, uh, Whole Foods. Uh, I mean, the more we go into 2019, it seems like all these big names are uh, tipping the hat to cryptocurrency and that really that recognition is going to go a long way. So I think that's a good uh, segue to start talking about Cardano and especially all the different things that we can expect to happen. You know, Shelly and uh, you know, the main net and all these different things that are really happening, um, you know, as the technological platform uh, continues to grow. And I think it's interesting to see, you know, just how um, the thirst, you know, the public thirst for decentralization uh, has been growing. I mean, I think that it's interesting. It's plain to see. And I think Cardano's doing well to position themselves um, in a way that I think is going to be pretty beneficial as things continue to go forward. Uh, the last video that uh, I, we actually made on this channel yesterday, we talked about uh, you know those of us who can acquire the large sums of these cryptos are, um, you know, obviously, uh, I mean, a million Cardano would be pretty life-changing and you know any amount of uh these digital assets i mean of course we're going through this paradigm shift i mean with the nine thousand dollar bitcoin you know with the overall market cap of 281 respectively bitcoin dominance at 56.9 percent and i think that it is interesting to just look at a snapshot of where we are currently as these things continue to face off with uh, the challenges that do wait. I mean, of course, we're not going to be all sunshine and rainbows. Uh, there's going to be dark days. There's going to be days that are, uh, you know, challenge the overall cryptocurrency space. But I think people who watch the trends as they've been unfolding, they get the idea, you know, see the writing on the wall and understand that the cryptocurrency is here to stay. And I think that, I mean, whether we see the, I mean, of course, we're going to see so many different shakeups in the space, but I think that that's one of the things that Cardano really does have going for it is the ability to sort of leverage that uh, realistic, uh, you know, desire. I mean, as we see, and we have seen the smart contracts uh, revolution and essentially how the way that people discuss cryptocurrencies has undergone a major um, you know, evolution. And you know, in respect to that sort of uh, overall cycle, uh, I think that we'll definitely be seeing a lot of um, 
the aspects that have made Cardano so popular really coming to the front and center. And I believe that a lot of the different cryptos on here will find it difficult to match the amount of, uh, you know, intuition and uh, just scientific uh, you know validation that Cardano has managed to, uh, you know, get for itself. So as things continue to move forward, I mean, as time continues to press on uh, that sort of uh, digital paradigm, the, the older generation is just getting older and older. Um, and the new, you know, the millennials generate Z, they're all ready for cryptocurrency, I, I'm pretty confident to say. And there's a desire out there for these digital assets to basically find their place um, in the world. So, they, you know, in that same token, I think that it's very interesting to see, um, you know, just how it is uh, taking off. Um, you know, and I'm also, uh, you know, happy to be making this video because, you know, we've been making so many uh, great content on this uh channel for so long you know i think that um you know it's awesome just to see how much we've i mean i've made so many friends with so many of you who've watched uh, these videos and um you now it is a it, cryptocurrency really is a lifestyle i mean uh for those of us who've really gone all in um but i mean yeah we've got this uh interesting warren buffett sort of uh you know, giving an ear to cryptocurrency again. And I mean, the times are changing, you know, like the old Bob Dylan song, we're seeing the, the people who at one point criticized cryptocurrency, uh, basically uh, getting in while the getting's good um, and, you know, in a timely fashion. So I'm sure that up, uh, you know, at some board meeting, uh, you know, at Facebook or whatever, they're definitely looking at a timeline and that timeline probably illustrates a uh, you know a mass adoption curve and all these different variables that are very interconnected you know really connected at the hip with uh you know normalization of uh, you know terms like uh, i mean bitcoin was sort of the uh start i mean we and i think that right now we're really beginning to enter into that new phase of uh, how these different things are going to be functioning. Uh, I mean, it is a welcome, uh, I mean, it is a welcome paradigm shift at the same time. I mean, we have to, uh, you know, just look out and, you know, see how a lot of these things are going to be, you know, really uh, making an impact. And uh, yeah, I mean, all that aside, I mean, remember this video is for entertainment, educational purposes only, you know, like I said, I'm not your dad, uh, but I mean, I think that, um, you know, you guys should definitely do your own research and stuff. I mean, it's awesome to share my opinion and make these videos, but at the end of the day, I have to stress, I mean, I do hours of research every single day and I would invite you to do your own research. That's really the only thing I can encourage anybody to do. Um, but yeah, I found this tweet interesting in less than six months, uh, Bitcoin sentiment went from capitulation to, uh, you know, prima bulls, uh, this bull market is going to be incredible. Uh, I mean, yeah, that, that's deserving of a retweet right there. And I think, you know, we are seeing that sentiment growing in the public mind and everything that's really come up until this point is sort of serving to get behind a lot of the different aspects of what's going to make this next uh, stage in the cryptocurrency space um, pretty lit. I mean, when we want to talk about the different players that are now getting involved, uh, it's an entirely different playing field. So, I mean, uh, those of us who had accumulated up until this point, um, I mean, we kind of look like Bender here right now, you know, just <laughs> looking at, uh, that's how I felt this morning when I woke up in the middle of the night and looked at my phone and I saw that 9,000 and, uh, you know, I went back to bed with a smile on my face and, um, you know, it is interesting to see, I mean, just, I mean, how, how about, how much better could it get, uh, you know, and, uh, and, um, and yeah, I mean, I, you know, just want to thank everybody for watching this video. Um, you now I think that the market will really uh, accept a lot of uh, these different technologies that have made a name for themselves and very interested in seeing how Cardano is going to ride the wave of um, this current, uh, you know, bull run that's uh, readily on the horizon. And, uh, you know, it's definitely interesting to see, I mean, whether it takes um, six more months, you know, or whether it takes six weeks or six days, I'm definitely interested in paying attention to these things. And, you know, you just have to remember cryptocurrency is a game of accumulation and, uh, you know, you only lose when you sell and, you know, you can, and basically you can monetize the, uh, 
information that you have access to just by being a smart person. So, you know, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, you know, just a special Father's Day special video. And, um, you know, it'll definitely be interesting to see how a lot of these different variables uh, come together in the near future. And um, yeah, all that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, have a good one.